Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to day four of the Coast to Coast. We are heading to uh, Danby Wist this morning. It's uh, 737. <laughs> supposed to be a scorcher today, 26 degrees, mm. which is probably close to maybe 70, 80, 75, oh, 80 uh, Fahrenheit. So quite hot day, so we're trying to beat the heat. So we're gonna run this short today. So we're gonna get cracking on so we can keep moving. Uh, so we got a hill to climb right now, so we want to get up that hill before the heat starts coming in and then back down the other side. So and grab a coffee. And grab a coffee, yes. <laughs> so we'll see you on the way. Stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoy the video for today. Now it's a glorious morning out here on the Cleveland Hills. The sun is out first thing. Yeah, so down there is where the Lord Stones is. Can't see it's amongst the trees. You got rosemary topping in the distance there, and then looking over top of the veil. And that's uh, Middlesbrough that way, where uh, you can see just in the distance there. Now let's stop huffing and puffing now, and let's bag this trick. Good job, honey. Bagged it. Looking over the veil. Mmm, what a glorious view. Such a good view. Let's go ahead next over in that yonder direction. All right. This is an ancient burial ground and from the Bronze Age, just across the path here. So that's an ancient burial ground, apparently. 4,000 years old. 4,000 years old, yes. So don't add any stones, but someone has right there. You're not supposed to do that, guys. It's ancient. So this is our direction, and dang, does it look good. Just leaning on a fence post, enjoying some of Tiffany's homemade flapjacks. Full of sugar and good old goodness. Dang. We got some Highland Qs in the field here. Look very friendly. That's cool, man. We're not in Scotland, but there's Highland Coos. And they've, they've got a couple calves over there too, which are really sweet. All right, and we're going up here. Mm, we've, got, we've got a little Highland cow just, oh, I see his mother now. She's walking towards him. Oh, he's vocal. There he is. Yeah, that's why I saw him, I just seen them. He's walking over towards his mama. That's sweet. Just coming up this uh, steep incline here. It doesn't look as bad as it does on the camera, but it is steep. I'd probably say it's 33%, yeah. 30, 30 something percent, yeah. And uh, there's logs in between the steps. And the way we're doing is we're counting 10 and resting. <laughs> Ten Every ten, and then resting for 10 <laughs> seconds. It's 10 and 10 and then we're almost to the top now. So we'll get up to the top now and take another 10 second break at the top. Good afternoon. It's not afternoon. It's morning still. It's 1030. Uh, we've just come across the Scarth something more. Oh, Scarth Wood Moor. We've just come across in the sun, beautiful sunshine. Met so many lovely people coming the other way. We had a couple chats with a group of people from Australia, a couple from America. Lots of people out today. Uh, so we've just, we're still on the Cleveland Way. We're about two, one and a half miles from Osmotherly, but we're not going all that way. We're stopping before then to turn down, down towards, uh, uh, what's it called? I can't remember the pub that we're stopping at for lunch. Anyway, that's where we're going. Uh, I'll get back with you guys there when we get to the cafe slash pub. Okay, trig point, we're bagging it. Oh, yeah, we got that one. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Good job, Tiff. All right, climb over and get your picture next to it. 
right, we made it to the junction where the Cleveland Way and the Coast to Coast connect. And we leave. So we're going down here, down this path. The, coast to, the Cleveland Way carries on straight that way. But we're not going that way, we're going down here. So we've probably got less than a mile, I would imagine, to... Uh, where are we stopping again, Tiff? Oh, a couple miles. Oh, a couple miles. Ingleby Ironcliffe is where we're stopping at. That will be. Well, we're not stopping. We're just taking a break there. Uh, that will be our resting stop before we cross the Vale. So uh, we'll carry on down this track and get to that destination. Yeah, uh, one of these. Uh, I can't remember what they call them now. Honesty boxes. We got some snacks. It's called Henry's Shop. Got some crisps. I'm assuming there's some water in there. Yeah, it's really cool to have these on the trail. Oh, there you go, Tiff. 132 miles to St. Bees. 48 miles to Robin Hood's Bay. And then uh, 18,383 feet of descent, ascent. 307, 428 steps. So we've done 4,586 feet of ascent. We've done a bit more than that. Well, we've done more than 48. Yeah. And then we've done almost 12,000, 112,000 steps. That's a pretty cool sign. I like that sign. Good job, uh, Henry's shop. All right, we're going to keep moving. Uh, just leaving the Cleveland Hills behind us now. And you can hear the roar of the A19. You can see it now, all the trucks racing across it. We have to cross that. So, yeah, fun times ahead. <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's safe, it's safe crossing if you do it safely. That's what it's about. Anyway, the sun is out. Okay, we've made it into Ingleby Cross. You got the Bluebell Pub here that you can camp and stay at. Highly recommend them. Uh, we're going past the Bluebell though, because it's only 11.30. And we're going to head into the cafe that's just up, up there and yonder on the right. So we're going to get in there and get some food for lunch. And... Uh, Catch you guys on the other side of the cafe. Now oh, there's the back, uh, the camping area for the uh, Bluebell, just back there. Down there, you probably camp down there too. Yep, all right. Right. The cafe is closed. It closes on Monday. Every day, except Monday, it's open. So right now we're sitting out front of the Bluebell waiting for them to open. They open at 12. So we're gonna cash in on that in 20 minutes. So. Time to rest the feet. Tiffany's resting her feet. That's what we're gonna do until the pub opens. Dang. Just crossed the A19. Ooh. Had to run across. Wow, well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to get in front of a big section of traffic, so I had to run across a bit. You see how busy it is, Battler. Oh. But anyway, my big head's in the way, but very busy road, so. Right, I've got about uh, eight miles of uh, farmland to walk through now. Uh, got f about what, f four or five pints of water. So it should be good enough uh, to get me through to, uh, to the campsite at Danby Whisk. It is hot. So got lots of water and uh, just take it easy and get there. So I'll show you guys the sights and sounds of crossing the Vale of Mulberry. update just walking across the Vale of Mulberry. I mean, there's nothing here it's just farmland and on gravel road grass and then concrete but right now I'm walking on a tarmac road uh, yeah it's just uh, walking through farms so there's nothing really interesting to report other than I'm doing well I'm uh, drinking lots of water because it's a uh, it's a warm day today 78 degrees uh, Fahrenheit 
so it's quite warm but yeah it's okay it's just walking through farmland and I do like it so anyway I'll see you guys I think there's a I think I have to trot across some railroad tracks up ahead here which is kind of cool so I'll take you guys show you that actually as we speak there's a train going by so I must be getting close to it so uh, I'll show you that when I get there coast to coast down here are a few uh, markers in the Vale. I've come across quite a few coast to coast markers. I guess it's because it is farmland, so they want to make you get you through it. I guess when the National Trail takes over, there'll be more acorns and uh, trail post signs to help you navigate through this section. Because uh, yeah, you do need your uh, your, your guidebook or your uh, OS maps. This is what I'm using. Uh, I do have the uh, maps, paper maps, with me, but. Uh, yeah, I'm using my OS uh, OS app, OS Maps app to uh, navigate. But there is a uh, there are a few signs here and there, so you don't need to check constantly. So, which is good. So here I am walking down another farm field. All right, here's the train tracks. Stop, listen, and look, or stop, look, and listen, which I have done. I don't hear anything coming or see anything coming. There you go. Not many trailing tracks in, the, in this country or you can walk across and stop in the middle. I'm not gonna do that. I'm getting off of them. Open over the style now. I don't know if you can see what I would call a herd. I just walked by uh, playing loud music, doing the coast to coast. I think they're doing the coast to coast. Actually, I don't know. But uh, playing loud music, walking down the road. I didn't expect to see anyone, to be honest. I thought it was so late in the day that people wouldn't be crossing. They'd be already done it through the, in the morning time uh, and arriving, you know, early afternoon. But there you go. Just walked past a herd of about 10 people playing loud music. Hey, to each their own. No worries with that. I think I've got to make a left turn here, so I need to check the map, actually. Got some beautiful horses here. I actually remember this uh, section here with these horses. Uh, the last time I did the coast to coast, about five years ago, I actually sat on this verge and took a break. Beautiful horses. Hi, fella. That's very nice. You're a good looking horse. Almost like thoroughbreds. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on up this dirt track. Yeah, this is my path. It's pretty much uh, got me barricaded in with a bunch of moo cows on the other side of the field, which I'm okay with. So, I'm okay with one of the styles back there. The step have gone, so I had to literally get on my hands and knees to get through the style, which is interesting. And stared at by a bunch of cows. All right, I need to watch myself because there's lots of stinging metal through here and I don't want to get itchy legs. Just walking through a cow field. There's a bull right at the end there. Luckily he's laying down. But I do get nervous walking through cow fields that have bulls in them. I know most of the time the bull is very placid and chill, but still, still nervous. And I always take a wide berth to go around them. Keep my distance. They must be friendly cows because they wouldn't be in this field. So I'm through it now all behind me. <laughs> all right, let's keep moving. Okay, final stretch into Henbury Whisk. So just a little bit of a road walk now. I wanna say I've probably got less than a mile there. I just gotta find the campsite. I had a few people mention to me on the way how nice the campsite is at Denbury West. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, so we'll get there, get the tent set up, and uh, get ready for the evening. It's about 3.30 now, so we started at 7 o'clock, 7.30 this morning, uh, 17 miles, coming in at 3.30. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we, had, we had a good 45 minute break at the Bluebell uh, for lunch, so that was good. 
and uh yeah so we've done 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 really well today i think we have so uh tomorrow we've got a short day so i'll rest up today rest up tomorrow because it's a short day it's only 10 miles into richmond so looking forward to that walk so catch you guys uh, at the campsite all right we made it to the white swan and danbury whisk and their black sheep brewery which is my favorite brew so i'll be enjoying that now i just got to find the campsite and get there got me my ice cream yeah <laughs> dang hello everyone <laughs> welcome to tent talk we're at a campsite in danby whisk we are we've had two pints of brew two pints of cider and some whiskey and some whiskey which is why he's grinning like a chest <laughs> it's not it's not it's not so we did 17 well sorry i did 17 miles okay, tiffany did okay right. let's, get, let, into let, let, let's get into this quickly let's get into this quickly yes. okay so i decided that 25 degree heat was with my uh, tend actually tendency for i think it was it, 26 it degrees 26. it was a little warmer than you said anyway i i tend to get a heat stroke so i thought i'm not going to push it i'm going to walk she made Cleveland the right decision Hills, and i walked as far as ingleby cross ingleby cross and then spent an absolute fortune on the taxi to get me to danby west but yes. you carried on walking i Seriously. carried on walking which you saw the film the footage of but she didn't miss much because all it was was farms. Farms. I miss. I miss, miss getting much. stung by nettles. Yes, my um, legs are still tingling right now from the nettles. I missed a bit of road walking. You missed the bull in the field. And the bull in the field. <laughs> you missed the train crossing. Oh well, that might nah. be interesting. But no, yeah. not really. No. Okay. No, there was unfortunately the crossing the Vale of Mowbray is not that interesting. It's farms. So yeah. that's why Tiffany oh, vowed no. not to not to do it. The heat, it was it was very hot. It was too hot. It was. So and I felt fantastic. I got to the campsite and I set the tent up and got everything all sorted. She did. And, and I can't. I'm pre and you rolled in and had an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> can't can't say how much I appreciate that she set up that. that there's a there's a daddy long legs flying over the tent right why now. Why is the oh, oh no, it's outside. It's outside the tent. That's it's okay. Fine. He might come into view. No, he's not. No. Okay, so let's crack on with what 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 this supposed is, <laughs> what this is supposed to be. How did you find the trail today, honey? Uh, the bit that I walked. Um, well, was, you did ten miles. I did. Yeah. No. Well, we walked mainly. It was on the Cleveland Way. Wasn't it was it? beautiful. And it was really well signed. We left at seven thirty. Gorgeous. And... Sunshine. It was it was an awesome morning to walk. To be honest, mm -hmm. we left early so we could avoid the heat, and there was you not. What though? When we left at seven thirty, it was already hot. Yeah, it was pretty warm. That, it was that getting first up there. hill coming up out of Lordstone. Sweating was, was quite. Oh, um... I was sweating. I sweat all day. The whole day I sweated. <laughs> That's why I was in some taxi. Yeah, I sweated the whole day, <laughs> and I drank quite a bit of water. And I'm sure you got that from the video that mm -hmm. I was quite warm, and I mentioned it a few times. Did you? Yeah. Did you say how hot? hard your feet well no it was no and, and well, legs, was, like, my legs, eggs my legs, eggs, eggs <laughs> my legs ache legs, but i don't honestly, know about i've only had two pints it's yeah. just i'm tired yeah so we're planning to leave earlier tomorrow because it's actually supposed to get warmer tomorrow it's supposed to be two degrees warmer so yeah. we're, we're going to be leaving quite early tomorrow hopefully seven which is another half an hour earlier than we left this oh, morning yes. so, on so this walk. So we're set for half five and we're going to get up and out of here as quickly as we can. Because it's, quietly as we can, it's supposed to be about moving. 27, isn't it? 27, it's 27, 28. It's going to be a scorcher. Which it shouldn't be in September. But we seem to be having a late summer, so we're going to take it yeah. and run with it. Yeah. Um, but it's 13 miles tomorrow, isn't it? Yes. So obviously the, the Vale of Mowbray is not much to talk about. So we're not going to tell you about what's there because it's just farmland. But it'll be nice when we get to Richmond. It'll be. I'm looking forward to Richmond. Yes. So, so um, it might be quite a short video tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what we can make. Yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> it's 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 uh yeah it we're is what it good. is. We're doing yeah. good. We're doing very good. It I'm is what it is. It. Yes. Oh, we're, we're still on high spirits. Yeah. Spirits are high. We're both having fun. Yeah. We just you know we just had a great great evening sitting here at the campsite because we're at a great campsite. What's the name of the campsite? It's Church Home Campsite. Church Home Campsite. And Highly we, recommend. Yeah. And Owner, we just had pizza. We, as well. Yeah. We had Domino's pizza. I know it's not a pub thing. <laughs> Highly recommend. We but met. They did deliver and it was still hot. Which yes. Was we met some nice walkers along the way. 
So highly recommend staying here at the campsite. It's very clean. But anyway, we're going to turn in because we have an early start in the morning. We do. And we're so, going to crack on, aren't we? Yes, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Yeah. And I hope you guys liked. Please remember to give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And maybe if you like it, subscribe to the channel. That'd be yeah. great. Thank you, guys. Okay, see you tomorrow. Take care, everyone. Bye. Bye.